Hey folks, Landstrider here. Welcome to another episode of my Forever Stranded Lost Souls playthrough. I'm actually recording this on April Fool's Day. That's probably why I have a pig nose. I'm not sure what mod adds that, but uh, haha. <laughs> anyway, let's just move on. Um, I wanted to show you this first. This is one of the, the chests that we got out of the treasure last time. Man, this thing is just like crazy big. I mean, look how big it is. You can change the color of it. Um, I'm not there's like all kinds of cool things you can probably do with it. It holds energy. It smelts items It yeah, it just does all kinds of things inside a chest. So we'll probably utilize that a little in the future, but uh, Today I want to look at potentially getting ready to go to the overworld now I would have got just gone right to going to the overworld, but then I realized it's gonna require a few more things than we got ready to go if we uh, jump back over here to the quest to look at going, uh, making the portal home. Um, the problem with this is you, you need to make these things, right? Uh, this was the thing that kind of threw me um, into getting ready to do other things because it requires buckets of crude oil. So if we want to get there, we're gonna need to have some crude oil. And then I started looking at crude oil and that right there is only be you can only craft that by uh, throwing some bitumen into a magma crucible. So we're gonna have to make a magma crucible. So let's let's start with that. In fact, we have everything but the redstone thing. And make sure I click the right thing. Click that. Click that. Uh, another redstone thing, which is Electrum. Okay, we should have some Electrum on over here. And I think while we're doing some of these other quests, there's a few other, uh, there's a few more quests that I wouldn't mind just taking care of under the thermal heading in the quest book. So maybe we'll get some of those done today as well. So that should be everything I need for the Magma Crucible. In, oh, no, I need a few nether bricks. And now we should have everything we need for the magma crucible in our inventory. There we go. Of course, that's going to use up copper gears that I was going to use for something else. Uh, oh, maybe. Let's let's take care of that one as well real quick. Now, again, that, these quests don't seem to want to detect. And I think that is because, um, if we look under thermal, say I made the magma crucible. I think that is because it, it's uh, there's some data that's mismatched there, like with uh, because there's still a lot of things that these thermal machines can have in their NBT DAGs and stuff. So like um, because it's all the same machine, basically you upgrade it with add-ons and things like that. Things that I wanted to take care of today are the upgrades. Those quests look like they would be reasonably easy to get through. I believe I've got the majority of the stuff, at least for the first few tiers. So we can make a hardened upgrade. Um, of course, now I used up the Electrum that I had in there. I'm going to have to go make some more. Maybe I have a block of it in here. That would be nice. That would be nice. Yes, I have several blocks of it. Very nice. Okay, let's uh, bring that over to the crafting area. And just toss it in there because we'll probably need it in the future for other crafts then we can do the reinforced upgrade I did make some signalum okay this is gonna be an issue the blazing pri cryothium I'm pretty sure we're not we're just not gonna have that stuff yes okay so that's something we're gonna need that magma crucible and the other thing we're gonna need for that is a, a transposer Fluid transposer right there, that's thing. So we're gonna need another one of those and potentially a bucket. So instead of using up some of the crap, I think I have a couple buckets in my inventory, but instead of using those up, I'm gonna actually make a few buckets just for crafting purposes. And then string. I 
Okay, those can those things can go back in there. There we go. Now we should have everything for the transposer. All right. Again, that one's like I said. These these are two quests that. Sh yeah, I think it's got. I think it's down to NBT data. So magma and transposer. Those are the ones that we need to go ahead and complete. Um, I'm thinking about just like grabbing and completing of the rest of these few right here because that's going to allow these ones to come unlocked and I've been making uh, the the fertilizers so that would be a thing and the other thing I just I just now noticed that this is over here there's another bag that we never made so we definitely need to do that we, we don't have all the bags we don't have all the bags and there's a few other uh, storage uh, carry carry along storage devices that we're gonna eventually I want to make too but um, so yeah, let's let's just do that one real quick. Let's just check it real quick. Satchel. That's uh, a it's a T C. There it is. Satchels. Bunch of different ones. Looks like you can probably upgrade them. Looks like this is the recipe for it. Basic satchel. Does it say basic satchel, right? Portable. Oh, satchel hardened. Oh, what's a hardened one? And a Flux capacitor. So we actually need the hardened one, which is an upgrade. It's going to be Invar and Tin Nuggets. Somehow I have a single Tin Nugget in there. Not sure why that, what that is about, but there's some nickel over here. Do I have Invar ready to go? There's Invar. And some tin to make the nuggets out of. Let's, uh, there we go. There's some tin. We can nugget that. Maybe. There we go. And then there we go. Make the hardened satchel. I wonder if that detected. It says crafting task, and I did just craft it. It's not counting. Interesting. Detect. I don't know. And the other thing is a flux capacitor. Basic. I'm assuming that is so you can use some of these powered items, uh, specifically the flux infused tools and things like that, while you're uh, out. Ooh, flux quiver. I wonder how that works. Not that it matters because we are using the supreme arrows, arrows, which are like a lot of arrows in one spot. So it's a basic flux capacitor is going to be. Uh, what am I missing? Sulfur dust? I definitely have sulfur dust here. There we go. Hopefully this stuff will work. Looks like it does. There we go. And again, this is going to... That one says complete, but the satchel is saying no. Well, we definitely just made the satchel. So it looks like we got three quests here to, auto, to complete for ourselves. Um, I did make the signalum. That one's done, so we, we can turn that one in here shortly. But let's uh, let's fix these three quests real quick. So it is ah, I can't see. There's a way to do it. There we go. 460, 151, and 418. All right. EQ admin complete. 460 one wait hang it <laughs> I don't want to get it wrong let me double check those numbers again because I've already forgotten 418 and 151 okay yeah I was about to put the wrong thing 418 and 151 4 18 and 151 Okay, since since you definitely watched me complete those, there we go. Now they're complete in the quest book. And then the next that unlocks a bunch of things. Uh, probably that one's going to require that I do the photogenic quest. These are kind of unrelated to what I'm trying to accomplish today. That is interesting. That opens up the redstone arsenal tools and stuff. Well, not quite. It it almost opens up. It lets me see that it's there. What I really need to do is make these flexed crystals before I can do all that. But 
Uh, and again, before all that happens, we need to go down and set up the transposer and the crucible. So we're going to put those right over here. The crucible and the transposer. And I think I'm going to have to go back up and grab some energy cables. Let's do energy cables. Another one that just needs to be done real quick is uh, item ducts. Just so we have a few more quests to turn in real quick, and those need to be the opaque ones, and we should, yeah, there we go. That, should, that one completed, nice. Not sure that we're gonna use them for anything, uh, but we do wanna complete them for the, just the completion of value of them so that we can get that turned in. It looks like I might be a little low on power production right now, so let's uh, check on that. Uh, we got power production happening here. Grid is overloaded. How's our grid over? Oh, I know how our grid got overloaded. <laughs> that is funny. So I had my salamander eye when I came back earlier in my hand. And I bet if I look down there, yep, all the fires are out. Okay. That explains it. So we just need to relight all of these. And that just broke my flint and steel. Well, I guess uh, if I need another one, I have to craft it or I can get another cinder, whatever, next time I accidentally put those fires out. But because the fires were out, the, uh, yeah, the grid was overloaded and there was no power production. But now there should be plenty of power production again. And the only reason that the, that is because I have an upgrade in both of those now so that they produce a little more energy. And there we go. These are now full of power. All right. Uh, I might want to upgrade that magma crucible to the maximum tier just because, and I have a few of those left over from quests somewhere in here. There they are, resonant conversion kits. I think that'll be worth it. Make it a little bit faster, give it the ability to take in some upgrades. I, I don't think I really need to do, worry about the fluid transposer. I'm not going to be using that for too many things. Um, I don't think any of these other ones really need it or can take it that I... Yeah, so we'll just save the rest of them for other things. I'm curious about the photo photogenic trans... photo thing, the plant, the plant growth stuff. Uh, because... And let's, let's put this thing in here because that's not that big right now. It has to be upgraded some more before it really becomes useful and then maybe even enchanted to give it some more space but now that we got the magma crucible um, we can take the bitumen that we got from sifting soul sand so I went out and got like two compressed stacks of soul sand so like 18 stacks of soul sand and sifted it all up and out of all of that I only got 43 bitumen and that is even with the uh, sieve fortune 3 on my sieve there so um, so yeah, I didn't get as much as I was really kind of hoping to get But that's okay. It'll work. I think it'll be enough to get over there. And once we get over there We can set up another method of going back and forth. So before we get anywhere with this, let's just um, Reset this so that it doesn't output anything to anywhere same with this one um, we probably will eventually just want this to output over to the transposer because I think that we're going to need to put it into buckets and probably the easiest way one or one easy way to do that is going to be just to push it over into the transposer and the transposer could put it in buckets but the other easy way to do it would be to pipe it into a tank of some sort and then just bucket out of the tank so and toss that bitumen in there and you can see there we go we're getting our crude oil Looks like we're gonna have more than enough crude oil to activate the portal to get to the overworld. All right, so the next thing to do would be to get the rest of the parts ready to go for the overworld uh, portal thing. Let's see if there's anything else that we can really just quickly take care of in here. Um, 
possibly some things that might be related. These are not related. I'll probably do another episode of nothing but just catching up on making the various machines and things like that. Because there's there's all these things in thermal expansion. There's all these industrial craft, or not industrial craft, but um, industrial machines. Industrial foregoing, that's what I was trying to say. All these industrial foregoing machines. I definitely want to get in on some of that stuff. Um, and then the environmental tech and stuff like that. And once we get to the overworld, we should be able to start doing applied energistics because I don't believe there's any way to get the materials to do that here. Going to the overworld should also open up the magic stuff, the other worlds. I'm really hoping those open up. And um, we need to do some stuff in magic crops, but that's that's for a different episode. But let's uh, Let's turn in the ones we got. That's what I was that's what I was in the quest book for. Let's turn in the ones we got. So the ones that we have recently completed. I did do the tier one seeds. That was just to make stone seeds, dirt seeds, and nature seeds. Like I said, we'll get into that in another one, but I'm gonna go ahead and grab the loot chest from that for the time being. Now let's now go down through and see what else we have that we can turn in. So we just did we just did the transposer today, the magma crucible. Uh, Signalum I did off camera, but uh, it wasn't too bad. Claim that. I did mention if I if you didn't catch the catch it when I said earlier, you can make signalum. You can make molten signalum in the uh, in in the furnace. Sign signalum. There it is. Uh, you can make molten signalum in the in the tinker's construct furnace, right? But this doesn't form into ingots. There's no way to use it, so don't do it. it, it it's a waste of material. Uh, you have to make the signalum blend using destabilized redstone. Now, I did make the destabilized redstone in the smelter and then poured it out into a container, into a tank, and then used the, a bucket to get it out of the tank. So that well, that was uh, it was useful for that. So I didn't have to have the magma crucible to make the destabilized redstone. That's how I managed to do that before I had the magma crucible. If you're wondering. Okay, other ones that we can turn in today. We just did the satchel and the flux capacitor. Claim that up. And then we turned. We did a hardened upgrade. Oop, claim, and the reinforced upgrade. Claim those two and then we completed this one which was I had all these for a while the other three things uh, I just had never made the item duct but we'll go ahead and claim that one too and let's see here I don't think we have anything to do here this still is going to require that uh, we kill some uh, withers and um it's not that I don't want to it's just I haven't been getting very many heads and I haven't had a chance to go hunting since I put the vorpal upgrade on my one sword I was thinking I might even upgrade the size too with the beheading option but if we get together some mob farms that might not be an issue that might not be an issue if I put together mob farms soon um, let's double check down through all here that's pretty much everything we need uh, so then we're gonna need to just do this stuff so it needs eyes vendor nether portal nether pedestals and overworld portal so Maybe we can get those together today on at, after we open some chests. Let's open some chests and put some things away first. That way we have space to open chests. That'll do. So let's see what we get. Oh, a bunch more enchantments. That's actually nice because somewhere in there, sh oh, there's the leech three again. Uh, yeah, there's the, not fortune three, sharpness. There, sib fortune three, nice. Like if I get that one more time, I can have a complete set of Civ Fortune 3 um, sieves. That would be kind of cool. Okay, some some junk. Ooh, a couple heart containers. Oh, that's not bad. Vial of Magma Skin. Oh, fire resistance for eight minutes. Those are nice. Not bad at all. I could possibly, yeah, I could probably use those that would save me from having um, to have and have the uh, uh, this thing out the salamander eye and the infernal chalice out I could leave them in my bag and just quaff a potion uh, some rabbit sandwiches and some more cupboards I kind of have all the cupboards I want for my my kitchen for the time being 
So let's just, we'll probably end up tossing those in the not so, not very used chest over there. Some more random food. I haven't got that one in a while, but there we go. Some more food. Ah, some more junk. And uh, Infernium again. Man, that's like, uh, well, how many, <laughs> I can tell you exactly how many times we got that one before. We've gotten that quest three times, or we've gotten that reward three times before because there's three uh, Infernium Paxels in there. I should just take them out and like use them to break a bunch of stuff just just to get rid of them uh, maybe do a little bit of mining oh look at that we actually got up to 15 insanium in there that means that we're on our way to upgrading the this furnace to the final tier although man this thing is just so good already but uh, let's put this food stuff away and then we can proceed with the last bit of of getting ready here uh, just clear my clear my inventory real quick just take a second there we go put those in the not very used stuff and now eat a few chips and we're ready to look at what this is going to take to actually make the nether portal and the overworld pearl so nether nether Portal, another pedestal portal. This right here, overworld portal. There we go. That's what we're. One of the things we're. Ah, oh, beacons, beacons. Of course. I mean the block, the blocks. Ah, oh, blocks of diamond, blocks of black quartz. So I am not nearly as ready for this as I was hoping to be. But yeah, I guess that's uh, April Fool's on me because I was thinking that I would be, I was thinking, oh, I just wait and do, uh, you know, get those, uh, those wither skeletons later. So it looks like I'm not nearly ready for, uh, for doing another portal. I mean, I got the crude oil now. That's nice. Um, but in order to do that, I'm going to need to kill a bunch of withers. Just going to have to happen. And... I have just not been getting very many wither skeleton heads, even though I've killed quite a few. I mean, I've only got two heads. Only got two heads. So we're gonna need to get to a few more. So I think I'm gonna have to do some off-camera hunting of the wither, or of wither skeletons. Uh, there's the tank I was using for the signal, and I have never put it away. Right there, these things are actually pretty nice. These, uh, where'd it go? Did it? Did I not get it back? Is that crazy? Oh, maybe it went up on the roof. I bet. I bet it went up on the roof. Scare me there for a second. Uh, I wanted to show you. These tanks are actually pretty easy to craft. I bet it came. It had to come up here, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, singularity tanks. Recipe on those is pretty simple, and they hold, I think, 64 buckets or so. So they're kind of nice. One of the few few. Uh, tanks that you can make earlier game in this that doesn't have a building requirement. It has a little bit of building requirement, but it's not nearly as ridiculous uh, requirements or whatever or materials as some of the other high tier other tanks, like particularly the thermal expansion tank. But anyway, I think we probably are kind of have a few more minutes, so maybe we should just take a quick look at finishing up these few thermal expansion machines here. The energetic infuser, the centrifuge, and the photogenic thing. See if I can do those real quick. In fact, yeah, let's just do that since we're definitely not making that uh, that portal today. Energetic infuser is right there. So that's just going to take some silver ingots. Probably the rest of it we have over there, but let's grab some silver ingots. And then, so I need one, two of those. And then uh, one of these. One of these. And now I can make the energetic infuser. The other one was the uh, photogenic, P-H-Y, photogenic infuser, what are we missing, dirt and a redstone thing here, so that's easy, grab some dirt from our dirty chest in here, come on, 
There we go. Now I should be able to do that one. There we go. Nice. There's one more done. And then, again, none of these are detecting. It kind of sucks. Centrifugal. Centrifugal is the last one there. Uh, centrifugal. Which is going to be another one of the redstone? Really? Oh, that's easy. I just I've converted it mostly into blocks because I was starting to get so much of it in my in there. So let's just pull that out. And a compass. That's easy enough. Gives us centrifugal. Very nice. Oh, no, no, just came in here to put the dirt away. Um, the one I'm going to want to really actually try out is the photogenic isolator. And I suppose we will go ahead and just uh, pop these other two down, just for the sake of having them down. I guess it would have helped if I brought some flux conduit down here to cook them up with. If I can find it in here now. There it is. There we go. Hook those on up. They should all be getting their energy. This energetic infuser will allow me to charge items that require flux, like that, uh, like that flux capacitor that we made. And if I make any flux powered tools, that will work for that. I could even convert. I think I might even be able to make some of my tools flux powered, like the uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. Although I don't know that I will. I have a, I have a better idea for that. Photogenic isolator takes, of course, some sort of fertilizer and a seed, and then it'll produce some stuff based on the things you put in there. And the other one was a centrifugal. So you put stuff in there, and it breaks it back down into its component parts and potentially liquid because uh, you can put, in fact, let's hit the recipes things there. Interesting, black concrete powder can be broke back down. So it's a good way to get materials you can also use it for like the honeycomb that's nice uh, and then of course all the forestry honeycomb breaking back down the various blends like if, if you crafted too much and you didn't need them um, again like the signal and like if I was getting them for okay you can break down blonde bronze anyway uh, this is a great way to get uh, magma cream and blaze rods if you had more magma cream than you knew what to do with and you needed either of these things but there we go, that's that's pretty much it. I doubt that we'll use this one for much of anything unless we get into some forestry bees, which could happen, could happen soon, in fact. Um, because we're we're running out of uh, regular things to do. Of course, like I said, the next thing to do is to just go and do a bunch of off-camera hunting of wither skeletons again, or potentially do a little bit of that and then set up some ender farms in fact that would be the best way to do it because or not some farm but uh the yeah the mob farms because i do have i do have a soul bound or a soul shard with wither skeleton it's up at 97 kills i was really just hoping to get it to that 128 mark to get it tier two before we actually built the spawner out with it so that's going to be my goal between this episode and next Let's go ahead and let's auto, let's complete these since I just did. You obviously watched me do them right on camera. So, uh, 429, 420, and 424. So, 420, 424, and 429. There we go. Those ones are now complete. Go ahead and claim them. One, two, and three. We'll open up these chests. This is going to be the other thing that I need. To, uh, one of the other things I need to like grind up or grind on while we are working on getting those skeleton skulls too. I will show you here in just a second as soon as we open these up. So first of all, some bread slices. Okay, that's not particularly great. Oh, there's Infernium again. Nice. 
And a waystone. Actually, that's not terrible. That saves me from crafting one, so we'll just put it in there for the next time we need the waystone. In fact, we'll save that waystone for when we get to the overworld. That'll be our overworld waystone. Because once we have a waystone there and a waystone here, then we won't have to worry about keeping that other portal active. I'm going to throw those bread slices in there. They can be used uh, with some beef or some chicken or something that make it a decent sandwich that's actually, well, decent. <laughs> Toss that in there. Uh, but yeah, one of the other things that I will work on off camera is putting together some of that dust because if we look at, uh, particularly like the watering can was one of the things that I was watering can, was trying to get up to the next thing. Uh, but yeah, a bunch of things are gonna start using this cryothium dust. Cryothium dust requires blizz powder and to get blizz powder, I mean, obviously, if I had blizz rods or a blizz or, you know, any way of hunting blizzes, those are going to be in the overworld, I'm sure. But, and they're probably going to be rare, so that's probably not going to happen. Uh, obviously, if I had those blizz rods, I could pulverize them up and get a bunch of powder out of them. But there's an alternative way to get that stuff, this particular stuff here. Pulverizer. Blizz powder. Come on, where's it at? Oh, it's in the, yeah, the fluid transposer. So if I put some snowballs, and you can see I've got ways to make get snowballs. I've got that big snow globe that, that formed when I used one of those um, chance cubes. With a little bit of destabilized redstone, I can make a bunch of blizz powder. So I'll probably do a bunch of that off camera. Now 200 millibuckets of destabilized redstone is two pieces of redstone each. So I might have to get a bunch more redstone, but... But that'll be okay. So then I can make the blizz powder, then I can make uh, the cryothium dust and um, craft a few of, of things. Craft a few things up like that. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I apologize for the pig nose. Uh, it's, it's April Fool's. Ha ha ha. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And until next time, I will catch you later. Bye-bye.